Hey guys, hope you are all doing well. Today it's just a quick um, instructional video on how to invert your Fanatec pedals, or Fanatic, however you say it. Um, easiest thing to do, these are the CSR Elite pedals. Um, as you can see, I've already disassembled it, but I'll show you guys a quick, um, quick way to do it. So on the bottom is actually where your circuit board is held right here by several screws. And okay, well this was <laughs> already undone, but if you flip your uh, Fanatic pedals over, you'll see that these are held on by six screws uh, right here, very easy to remove. So once you remove that, um, then these are gonna be bolted. This one's already inverted just for show, but um, you'll know that these are also held on by these guys here, which is a, um, a hex nut or is this hex? Yes, a hex nut and a bolt. And um, it's really clever how they do these. Um, if you look at the grooves on the actual pedals, the bolts actually, the nuts, the bolts actually slide right in there. So you can see that's a bolt pattern right there. And I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Oh goodness, um, okay. So, as you can see, this nut here actually slides in right there. And that, sorry, the bolt. The bolt slides in right there. And the nut literally sits on top. So, in between here, um, I'll show you on this guy here. It's, I've only got two um, put in for demo purposes, but it actually has four. So. One on this side, and there's another one that's supposed to be here, and then two also on the bottom. Uh, you remove all four of them, and they literally slide out. Make sure you um, take off the circuit board before, and also take a picture to um, remember where the wires go. Um, it's very easy to be confused, and also be very careful, and I must uh, emphasize this, to not um, pull on the wire itself. Make sure you put your finger on these white connectors, remove them. I had to learn the hardware, hard way, and as you can see, there's a soldering iron right back here where I actually just, uh, you know, snapped uh, one of my connectors. So make sure you don't do that because then you're going to have to go to Amazon and buy these, you know, uh, JST 1.5 millimeter connectors and all this other stuff. You know, right here, here's my soldered wire as you can see but anyways back to the main point so once you remove them all you'll need is a couple L brackets these can be had at Home Depot or Lowe's um, for about four or five bucks and in our case we will only this is a um, five inch by one inch L bracket I wish uh, this part this part was a little longer because uh, as you can see how I've mounted mine. Um, so these are the two bolts and brackets. They actually just use the existing uh, line here. The nut goes right on top of the bolt which slides in here. These were a little longer. You can adjust the height. You can still adjust the height, you know, because there is a little bit of clearance. But what we're going to have to do, because there is a little play, when you push your foot back on here, there's a little bit of play, but you can actually drill right into here, which I'm going to do. Drill into there to set these guys down, but it's very easy. And then again, um, you just use the existing holds on the, uh, you know, the pedal set, because there's a lot of movement. You can always move it back and forth. Um, if these came out a little longer, I could have tied them back in over here, but um, unfortunately, they did not. And the other thing is there are only four, um, you know, bolt and nuts per pedal set. So here I've used one, two, three, four. So I would need two more if I wanted to bring them out here. Um, you can just screw them into here, drill and screw it into here and should be good to go. So, um, yeah, these are fairly cheap, five bucks and um, nuts and everything included will be under 20 bucks. So hope you enjoyed this instructional video.